right off the top, we want to get to breaking news. A Provincetown beach shut down to swimmers after a shark was spotted eating a seal close to the shoreline. No reports of injuries with people, but Race Point Beach ordered clothes for at least one hour as a precaution. Of course, this comes just a day after a New York man was attacked by a shark while swimming in Truro. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in Chatham tonight with the latest. Bill? And you know, although that attack was very serious, it's also very rare. Before that, last one I think was 2012 here on the Outer Cape. But it seems like almost every day now we're having a sighting of a shark, usually a great white, in close to a beach here on the Outer Cape, or a beach closing because there's a confirmed sighting. It's becoming far too frequent for a lot of people. Today, Long Nook Beach in Truro was closed to swimming, as were several others nearby. The quiet ocean belied what is going on around here. Yesterday, a 61-year-old New York man was attacked by a shark, most likely a white shark. Rini Gauthier and his friend pulled a man from the bloody water. And all of a sudden, I looked over, I seen the guy with blood around him, yelling for help. Then, uh... Then I asked my friend, that, uh, I said, I, no, I got nervous, so my friend he, he made the first move. He grabbed his hand, and then, then, then I grabbed the other hand. The victim had been swimming about 30 yards offshore when he was attacked, and a team of people got him up the sand dune to an ambulance. Others on the beach say there were seals nearby, a favorite food of sharks. You know, it's horrible that this man was bitten. So my understanding, there were seals in the area. My understanding, he wasn't really close to the beach. He was out s swimming. You know, I'd like to pin down those details. Dr. Greg Skomal has spent many days on the ocean this summer documenting the growing population of great white sharks. You know, August, September, these are peak months for white sharks. The white sharks are, are dynamic in terms of their movements up and down the Cape. They're coming in, they're, coming, they're going out. You know, people need to be vigilant. That shark attack victim yesterday has been identified as 61-year-old Bill Litton of Scarsdale, New York. His injuries are very serious. He's hospitalized now Tufts Medical Center. Reporting live from Chatham, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.